three most significant composers of the classic period were Franz Joseph Haydn, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and Ludwig Ben Beethoven. Haydn and Mozart were both from Austria, and Beethoven lived most his life in Austria, even though he was German. Mark that down. Austria was a big deal in the classic period. Of our three classic period composers that are, you know, are influential composers, Haydn is the only one who worked successfully in the patronage system. He served 30 years as the court composer to the Prince of Esterhazy. He wrote music for every occasion the court demanded and had a court orchestra and opera company at his disposal. Now, what you don't get from that statement is that of all the guys we talk about, he was the one who managed to be the most pleasant to be around. It's kind of an common knowledge that Beethoven was a difficult person to be around and Mozart was kind of a whiny little brat. Haydn was a very professional guy and his music demonstrates this. There's not that much about Haydn's music that's overly amazing but what you do find in Haydn's music is that it's just a example of perfection and it's very sophisticated music it's just not that highly original what he did do that was original was some of his arranging methods he did a lot of neat things with her as far as arranging uh, various instruments in how they played together that may not seem like a big deal if you're not familiar with the concept of arranging, but those of you that are, know that's uh, quite a quite a big deal. He was a very, very, very prolific composer. Wrote um, 104 symphonies. That alone is almost an insane. With the time it takes to write a symphony. Uh, which is generally, in most people's cases, six, seven months. Well, wow, 104 symphonies. That, that's uh, more than most people would write in their lifetime. Also, 35 concertos, 82 string quartets, and 60 piano sonatas. The Haydn trumpet sonata is an extremely, extremely commonly played piece by most any trumpet student and is quite a challenging piece to play. Alright, now we come to Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Mozart is the Superman of the classic period and is arguably the most influential influential, that's a new word, influential of all musicians in history. Obviously, there's arguments for many people, but Johann Sebastian Bach of the Baroque period and Mozart of the Classic period are probably two of the most gifted musicians that ever lived. Unlike Bach was in the Baroque period, though, Mozart was more of a showman. His father, Leopold Mozart, was a skilled pianist and skilled musician. He was amazed with little Mozart's abilities and, as a child, took him on the road as sort of a freak show, for lack of a better term. He would take him to various parties and to play for various composers and they would do things like blindfold Mozart and put his uh, hands under blankets when he was playing piano they'd give him uh, three notes and ask him to write a piece and the little seven-year-old was writing amazing pieces uh, with just a little few note bass line that was handed to him 
if Mozart had lived in our time, he probably would have been something of a jazz musician, probably more than a classical musician. He was an amazing improviser who could hear full symphonic orchestration in his mind without having to really sit down to write it down and grasp it. He had an amazing musical mind and uh, again he's probably one of the greatest musicians of all time. He is, uh, well I guess that goes without saying, if you go and look under CDs you'll probably find at least a thousand CDs that are presently for sale that have his music on it. He wrote a good amount of symphonies, 25 piano concertos, 7 violin concertos, 23 string quartets, 7 piano sonatas, and a lot of operas, but Don Giovanni, Marriage of Figaro, and Magic Flute, probably the three most influential. What's amazing is for most of his youth, again, he was something of a traveling circus, and he died by the time he was 35. So a lot of this music was written in a very, very short time. Now Mozart was sort of famous as a player, but was never all that wealthy. He did not really do well working for other people. He was kind of a spoiled guy, because his his own talent led him, uh, I guess, to have something of a oversized ego.